Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name is Cougar and this is another episode from our Camping and Survival series. Uh, we've got another box in today. This is uh, one of the monthly boxes that we're going to be getting for part of this series. And uh, as you can see, it is an SHTF gear uh, box. And these are from uh, Bud K. So uh, this one is the $20 box. All right, everybody. Well, here we go. We got everything kind of uh, separated out here. A uh, handful of items there. Start off with the card here. Now the card does show all of the boxes. And uh, like I said, there are uh, other ones. This one is the uh, 1999 is what it is. So 20 bucks a month. The next one is 50 bucks a month, uh, 49.99. And then the high end box is actually $90, which is 89.99. Now in this box, uh, it does have a listing of all the products that are in it as well as what they suggest the, uh, I guess the retail price would be for it. Uh, according to this one, we have a almost $50 value with everything here. It says $49.63. So uh, we'll see. I think, uh, I think they might not be too far off with some of this. Now, uh, first thing they mention is this right here. And I'll go ahead and take it out of the bag so you can kind of see it a little bit better. But uh, for those of you who have been in the military and everything, of course, you know about the, uh, the, the hand can openers. And this is one of those versions. This is actually called the P51. Uh, now, they do suggest that this goes for about a dollar, uh, which actually isn't bad. Uh, they're definitely something that's uh, nice and handy. Uh, they fold flat. They weigh almost nothing. So uh, very easy to uh, carry with you. Of course, you do have the hole right there. You can uh, throw that through some kind of lanyard on there. You can put it on your key ring, uh, anything like that. Makes it very, very easy to uh, transport, and then you're always able to uh, be able to get into a can. And uh, they're not hard to use at all. They, uh, you know, get that initial punch down and then just work your way around. It takes a little bit of time, but it works really, really nice. Uh, the next one is going to be this right here. Now, as you can see right here, these are a set of clips. Now, these are actually Alice clips. Now, the Alice system is uh, the kind of modular system that predates the Molly system that's on uh, most gear now. But uh, you do have two of these clips. So for those of you who have Alice gear, you have something to use to attach some additional gear with and uh, be able to you know carry what you need so pretty nice uh, now they do suggest that this retails for 69 cents so very cheap and now the next thing we have is the uh, they went to this uh, foldable camping saw now this is a 10 and a half inch uh, and it says it is safety lock uh, camping saw here uh, this is the ps 185 model all right so we'll go ahead and do a test here Sorry if this is a little crappy, I've got some cars going by. So here it is, uh, obviously again, it's pretty small. Um, try it on this little piece of uh, wood I got for some firewood. Um, now this piece of ash, so it is fairly hard. It's been seasoned for probably a couple of years. Uh, so it should be should be pretty pretty stable, pretty dry. And and uh, you know, let's see, see what it, what it does for this. There we go, all the way through. Um, that's not bad, I'm surprised. I'm actually really impressed with this. Uh, since it does have the, the uh, crisscross cut on there, seems to cut fairly well. Doesn't seem like the, the tines are hardened, so I don't know how long it'll last. But uh, it, it's doing a lot better than I thought it would, that's for sure. I did not think it would cut that nice. Pretty decent, especially for five bucks, I think. Uh, now the next one here is a is the it's SOA Warhounds, and it is the two knife set. Now this is it says death before dishonor, and uh, this is uh, like it says it's a two piece set. We do have two straight blades. Let's go ahead and get it out here. Uh, all right, so we've got the sheath here. It is a nylon. Does have a uh, a belt loop on it. You got the front pocket here, has your uh, smaller knife, which is a simple folder. And uh, 
very reminiscent of many knives that we've gotten before. It's very lightweight and everything, but it does come with some paracord, which is kind of cool. Uh, it has paracord kind of wrapped around a section of the handle right here. Uh, this is a plastic uh, type of handle, so it is lightweight, like I said. Um, I'm gonna guess this is supposed to be probably, supposed to be 550. I'm gonna guess this is more like um, like maybe a, a 200 or 300 weight because it does feel rather thin. Uh, it does have kind of a quick eject or whatever finger knob here, so you can, of course, flip it out and make it uh, come out very quickly. Uh, so there we go there. Now this is roughly a, I'm gonna say, this is about a three and a half, almost four inch blade. You do have a uh, kind of a blood groove that goes down through the back here. And this is roughly, uh, maybe right around an eighth of an inch thick maybe. Uh, so not super thick. Let's take a look, see how sharp it is. Yeah, this is definitely something I thought so. Um, definitely needs to be sharpened. Uh, definitely not razor sharp. It, uh, it's fair, um, but you know, having it so it's only a little bit sharper than a butter knife isn't going to really do it. So definitely something to consider. Uh, probably should sharpen it once you get it out of the box. Now let's go ahead into the bigger knife. Hopefully this one's built a little bit stronger, a little better quality. Does have a plastic and rubber gripped handle, kind of a kind of a, a a blending of the two, where it's like a plastic base, and then you've got some rubber grip to uh, kind of make it more secure. Uh, this is more of a uh, a Bowie kind of style with the with the long blade like that. Now it's not real real heavy. This is uh, a little bit thicker, of course, than the pocket knife. Uh, maybe slightly over an eighth of an inch. Uh, maybe about, uh, hmm, we could say maybe about five thirty seconds or so uh, in thickness. And that, I'm just ballpark figuring that. Now it does have a couple grooves in the back. It does have a couple ridges cut in the back right there. Uh, it does have kind of a nice curvature to the handle a little bit, kind of, and it gives it that rounding effect and uh, it does have kind of a finger locking position, especially for the first two. Then the back two are kind of a little more open. Uh, this would be reasonable. I, um, I wouldn't want to do a lot of batoning with this. Uh, it, it would be, again, this is one of those things that's good in a pinch, I think, rather than uh, being something that would be one that you would constantly use for, uh, for your survival. Now, the suggested retail price on this is only $15, $14.99. So, you know, not expecting a whole lot, especially when you're paying that much for this large of a knife and an additional folder. But uh, again, in a pinch, it's something that would definitely be able to do you, at least for a little while, to uh, kind of get you out of maybe a tough situation. Next one we'll go to is uh, the survival food here. Now, this is... Uh, by Wise Foods, it says, the Wise company there. This is uh, stroganoff, it has the creamy pasta with mushrooms, onions, and rich beef flavor. So uh, there may not actually be dried uh, beef in here. Back here it says, uh, there are roughly four servings in this container, and it says that there are about 250 calories per serving. So this is about a thousand calorie packet right here, which would be about half of your daily uh, recommended amount of calories. Now, I'm not sure that it has enough of everything that you need. Uh, total fat, it's only four and a half grams, uh, but again, this is per serving. Now, uh, we're also looking at, it has 310 grams of uh, sodium, uh, per serving and 45 carbs per serving and only eight of those are actually sugar uh, it does have seven grams per serving so we're looking at 28 grams of protein in this total uh, it does say just bring uh, four cups of water to a boil uh, so of course you will need that you just stir in the content you cover and let it heat and sit and it says it takes about 12 to 15 minutes for this to fully rehydrate so uh, not bad, this does have a reasonable weight to it. It says it is nine ounces, uh, which is uh, 256 grams of mass. Definitely something that can be an all around kind of product. Uh, you know, just in case anything happens again, uh, SHTF. So, you know, maybe there's, uh, there's something that happens where you can't get to stores. If there's, uh, you know, snow or anything like that, you get snowed in, flooding, something. 
uh, as long as you can get uh, uh, some water, you can, of course, uh, make that up. Now, the next one we have is here by uh, Black Legion, and this is called a Punisher Skull Self-Defense Kubaton. There you go. You can see the Punisher-style skull there, and uh, we have a single opening for the finger there, and then the spiked end there. So, of course, this is good for uh, self-defense. You do have a little lanyard, and it does have a little keeper here on the end, which looks like it's removable, so if you are in a tough situation and you need some cordage, you can, of course, untie this and uh, be able to uh, use the cordage. I believe that's just a simple, I think that's a snake knot uh, right there, and it does have a little keeper bead on here as well. So uh, pretty nice, pretty cool. Definitely uh, something that's uh, good for self-defense if need be. And uh, let's see, the last one we've got here are uh, these right here. Uh, we have a 10 pack of uh, aqua tabs. Now, of course, these are purification tabs. Definitely something that you would want to keep in something like a bug out bag or an inch bag uh, to help purify water if uh, you're out there trying to survive. Uh, now it does come with a basic uh, instruction piece here and it will of course tell you uh, how much these will treat as well as how long you need to wait from the time that you put them in the water to the time that you are able to drink them. Uh, you know, generally they are not instantaneous. You do have to give it some time to work just like when you're boiling water. Uh, so there we go guys. Uh, pretty Pretty nice box, uh, not bad. I mean, obviously some of this stuff is on the cheaper end, but of course we're looking at a $20 box. We spent 20 bucks and we got all this stuff here. And uh, for all this stuff for $20, I think that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, again, it's it's uh, survival situation kind of stuff to last minute. If you guys are working on building some type of a, uh, a bug out bag or an inch bag that you want to you know, take with you when you're out. Uh, these could be things that you could start with and then as you are able to uh, get better products, then you could of course exchange these out and use these as uh, kind of more last resort items. All right guys, well that's gonna do it for me today. My name's Cougar, this is the world of me. This is another episode of our Camping and Survival series. Uh, if you guys uh, would like to check this out, we will leave a link down there in the description below. There is, of course, our social media down there. Uh, again, go ahead and leave your comments while you're down there. And uh, on your way down or on your way back up, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. As well as, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button either down there or the little icon that's floating over here. And that little bell icon as well. That will, of course, let you get notified of when we've got new videos coming out here on World of Me. All right, everybody. Well, I'd like to wish you all a good day, and I will see you later. Bye.